In this video, I'm going to be evaluating these two definite integrals. So this first one, uh, we've got 1 over the square root of x squared, take away 16. So that's already in the form here. So I can go and integrate this directly. Now I'm going to put it into the logarithmic form. So we would have log of x plus the square root of x squared take away a squared. Now a is clearly 4, so we're taking away 16. And we're evaluating that between 4 and 8. Okay, so we're going to substitute in the 8. So 8 plus the square root of 8 squared take away 16 uh, gets us the natural log of 8 plus 4 root 3. And then we're going to substitute in the 4. So 4 plus the square root of 16 take away 16. So we get log of 4. And then we can use the log laws, uh, which is log of 8 plus 4 root 3 over 4. And so that's the natural log of 2 plus root 3. Okay, so that would be my exact answer. Let's look at the second one here. So we need to rewrite this first before we can use our standard forms up there. So we can factor the 5, or sorry, the 25 out of those first two terms. So we're going to get 1 fifth times the integral between 0 and 1 of 1 over the square root of x squared plus, now remember we factor the 25 out of 1, so 1 over 25 there, dx. Okay, so this is going to be 1 fifth times by, now I can use the logarithmic form here, so that's log of x plus the square root of x squared plus a squared, so x squared plus 1 over 25, oh, yep, that's right, so many brackets going on, uh, between 0 and 1, wasn't it? Okay, right, so let's see what, what we get. So we've got 1 plus the square root of 1 plus 1 over 25. So that's getting us the natural log of 5 plus root 26 over 5. Uh, so that's substituting 1 into that. And then take away, substituting in the 0, we're going to get 0 there, we're going to get 0 there. So square root of 1 over 25, so 1 over 5. So it's log of 1 fifth. Okay, let's just, let's just pop that in an extra bracket there, so as not confusing ourselves. Okay, so this is going to be equal to 1 fifth times the natural log of, so we've got that divided by 1 fifth, and so that would just be 5 plus root 26. And so that is the exact form uh, of the answer we're looking for. Uh, you could bring the fifth up into the power, but it's not really going to make it any neater, so I would leave it like that.